The transform SOP is used to transform geometry. You can apply translates, rotates, scales, shears, and uniform scales. You can also change the transform order. Transform rotate scale, for instance, would apply the scales last, or the default scale rotate translate. You can also choose to change the rotate order as well. You can also make individual component selections and transform them. In this case, primitives, we can select some uh, packed primitives. We can select the volume primitive and also some polygons. Hitting the tab key, we can apply the transform node in the viewport. And now we'll notice we can transform the geometry interactively. Also notice that we set the pivot transform for us. If you wish to adjust the pivot transform on the handle, right mouse on the handle, go to pivot mode, and now you can change the pivot. In this case, let's snap to points. And we can move our pivot to anywhere we want. And when we've completed that, right mouse, turn off pivot mode, and now you can apply rotates that way. Now looking at the individual component selections we have available to us um, in the viewport, I'm gonna select uh, geometry groups. There are geometry groups present on this geometry and I can select the core group, again, tab transform, hitting enter, and now I can rotate just that particular group. Notice that the core group is set to the group field as well. We can select any input groups of type primitives, points, or, or vertices. In this case, we can also apply the screws group as well as, as other groups that are available to us. In this case, the pedestal group, and apply rotates and scales. We can also apply transforms to actual attributes themselves. In this case, in the name SOP, we actually have a name attribute as a primitive type, and that name attribute is used to set pack primitive types and a whole bunch of other types of selections for simulation. In this case, we can now change the selection mode to the name attribute. And now again, hitting the, the center core group, we can also use the modeling uh, radial menu, hit the C key, and we can now adjust the transform that way. Notice that we use the ampersand and the name of the attribute, and then we have we take a look at all the varying attributes on that name attribute. And we present them to you as options available to you in the in the chooser, either on the node itself on the group parameter field or inside of the viewport using that selection method. Finally, let's take a look at all the various different transformation types that we have available to us with the transform SOP. Turning off our our group type selector, we're going to go to points. And again, using the C key, go to transform. We can move point selections. We can move edge selections. Holding down the A key, I can make ribbon selections. And again, use C key, transform. And then finally, we can actually add primitive selection types. And again, another transform we can move primitive selections as well. Looking back at all three nodes, here we can see the group type is set to points. Second group is set to edges. And then finally, the third group is set to primitives. We can also choose to transform other types, such as breakpoints, which are the gravel points on NURBS.